What's going on YouTube? This your boy Ghost. Back with another video about my wife's Audi Q5. Right now it's jacked up. Um, doing the rear brakes. Everybody that has this model or uh, a Volkswagen this model, they have the electronic parking brakes um, system on the back. And it's always been an issue. And I had looked up videos, finding, trying to find different videos. However, not everybody have a video about this. Um, End up finding one video of a guy, uh, he was doing it on a Volkswagen, which Volkswagen is made by Audi. I mean, Audi is made by Volkswagen, I'm sorry. But um, what they did was taking a 12-volt source and rewound the, the parking brake uh, motor. So what I did was took a, a pair of alligator clips, like so, and you stuff them down inside. I don't know if you can see. But inside there's actually two uh, prongs, uh, the left and the right one. I just stuck the alligator clips on there, on the inside, and took my jump box <laughs> right here. And what you're going to do is when you connect the leads, you'll see the actual um, piston either come in or out. Um, if it comes out, then you need to reverse the polarity to pull it back in. On this particular system, um, unlike the one that the guy had on his video, you can see it pull back in, but this one I couldn't. So I wound the motor all the way back slowly, um, section by section. I didn't do it the whole time, but you will hear it, and you will hear it actually stop. And I'm actually going to perform that so that you all can hear um, what it actually sounds like. Um, I'm going to get my wife to hold the camera for me. Okay. So like I said, one, all you do, and it doesn't matter which side because it's a 12 volt DC source, um, so it's not polarized or however you want to call it, um, but you will be able to see, and this is kind of crazy how I had to do it, but I didn't want to have to take the battery out of my full wheel on my motorcycle to get it done, so... Um, I can actually do it. I don't know if you want to come around this side so they can actually see the piston. I don't know if you all can see the piston on the inside, but I have it currently all the way pushed in so that I can get the uh, new brake pads on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Can you see the piston right there? All right. So right now I have the... Don't mind the red or black, because that really doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to hook this to it on this side. And, and you can actually hear it. And see it coming out. Oh, that was going in. I apologize. So let me pull it out this way. Has coming out, so it actually comes out. I wound it back too far, and the actual piston cover is a uh, pressed in wrong. But I'll get that straight. See how it comes out. So once it comes out, that piston, that motor, then drove it out. You just reverse it and you drive it back in. But you'll have to press it back in with your clamp, or C clamp, or whatever have you that you may use. Uh, let me go ahead and get that back in. And you don't see it going back in because, like I said, on this one you can't see it being reversed. So what I did was stop after I did it for a few seconds. Jump box down. And I actually came in. And that's actually a dust boot on that uh, piston there. I hope it didn't mess anything up. But once you do that, you should be able to line it back down. 
take your time with it because you don't want to force it uh, too quickly because you do have uh, brake fluid still in there. And uh, I'm just gonna make sure I got that dust boot sealed correctly or back in there correctly. Try to be professional as possible. <laughs> And when you do it slowly but surely, you'll feel that tension gain back on that piston. And you just stop there. And what you'll do is go back. Get a good 12 volt source. And it back on and ready. I know when I first tried it, uh, I had a little difficulties, and of course, Audi was charging $900 just to redo the brakes. Um, I, I don't currently have $900 to be doing that, but some people might, but I don't. And it takes a little bit to do it. Uh, when I first did it, I thought I was all the way in. Wasn't um round in some more and then you can hear it actually stop. Um, I'm gonna get it back in so that you guys can actually hear it when it stops. So that you won't just burn your motor up by forcing it too much. Right? My C clamp is kind of old and beat up. But it's still a C clamp. Like I said, uh, Audi, Volkswagen, I'm assuming, the braking system on them, uh, changing them, by far has been the easiest brake system to actually change for me. Um, the front is just two pins on there, and I have a video already on YouTube about that, and it's helped a whole lot of people um, actually change their front brakes themselves, but it's so easy. It's better than any Chevy Ford, uh, Mazda, any system that I've seen. No offense to you guys, but I like Chevys and I like Ford Mustang. So. Nissan. <laughs> and as you can see, it's almost there. I believe this will be my last wound out. And just be careful with whatever 12 volt source that you're using. You don't touch the leads together. Um, and so to short it out, um, I'm using my jump box. Typically don't try to. All right, so that was the sound. As soon as you hear that sound, get off of it. Because it'll try to twist that piston back in. So, um, also the video that the guy had on YouTube when he did it, when he uh, pressed the brakes back, because of course you know anybody that's done a brake job before, you have to um, pump back up your brakes. Um, what he did was before he started pumping the brakes up, he actually took the uh, park, I mean the uh, parking brake, and engaged it three times, which allowed the motor to relearn itself, and um, then he pumped his brakes. So. I haven't put the new brake pads on as of yet or done that part of it yet, but I will see shortly. Um, if there's anything different or anything that I find out any different, I'll post another video about it. Um, and that's how you, oh, not gonna like that. That's how you actually do the braking rear brake system on the Audi Q5 2014 model. All right, thanks you too. Leave any comments, likes, uh, share, B. Keep dropping my like. <laughs> oh, let me show you what the plug looks like. This is what the plug looks like. Um, you just take a flathead screwdriver and twist and put in here, and it'll actually release that, that plug off of here. Um, so let me know what you guys think. All right, appreciate the looks and the watch. Thank you.